Hey, fuckers. Exactly right. We didn't do anything with the drum. We both remained at zero. We didn't really get the get out there as much as we wanted to. But they were catching them up at Avon, up down south. They had a good day at the point. We got something else going on right now, but we got to pack up the truck, bring in uh, some plastic boats, and hopefully we'll get into some fish. I'm gonna say goodbye or something. Oh, goodbye folks, I'm ready to get on the water. going on y'all we are at Kiptipeak State Park today we are going to be targeting Tautog might throw a line off the side for a little bit with some eels for the striper last we heard is you know the big stripers are about 10 miles north today we're using two different types of rigs for the Tautog first one is a uh, it's a weight about a three ounce weight with a Tautog jig head pretty much what that means is the, the weight's gonna help because the water's moving is gonna hold the hold the jig head down the jig head has a weight on it to hold the hook vertical I guess you'd say um this keeps the hook exposed we tip that with crab and that's a really good rig the other rig that we're using is um just a hook and a uh and a weight they're on two separate strings or two different pieces of line um the reason that we do that is because when you have the the hook a little bit higher than the weight it keeps the hook from being directly on the ground and uh increases your chance for a hookup don't nibble at it but you know if you have your hook up a little bit still on the bait still on the ground but having the hook not laying flat on its side, you know, really helps out. We're heading out to the big concrete ships. This is this is one of the more sketchy, you know, trips that we've done, uh, fishing expeditions. I really don't have the right kayak for this. You know, if this one takes on water, I mean, it's it's pretty prone to sink. We'll cross that bridge if it gets to it. The water's freezing. Jeez, it's last time it was high 40s last time I checked. Um, but yeah, I mean, the the water's real flat right now. We got to take advantage of that. We got to get out there and get on these fish. There's other people out there, so we're not the only idiots out there. But all right, let's go. There he is. There he is. Get up. Carry on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. That is it right there. Legal size is 16 inches. bigger oh this one's a little bit bigger i'm trying to i'm on the ship Woo! that's him right there 16 inches all right so what we're doing is we got actually we're using peeler crab they didn't have green crab sitting on the bottom pretty much the way that these tog hit they'll come up to it they'll get a small hit real quick and that's just them kind of breaking up the crab and then it's really the second one is when i'm setting the hook you know that's how we're catching the fish other than that it's pretty straightforward we're sinking it down all the way to the bottom the weight's sitting on the bottom and you know just a waiting game it's fun though see if we can't get some more Get on up here. Uh. Uh. He's 16 too. So number three, second keeper. <laughs> So these ships, they're from, uh, what was it, World War II? And they used to, uh, before they built the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, they used these to get people from one side to the other. And then after they built the bridge, they put 
these here and this is uh all together i think it's a nine out of 25 or nine out of 24 total ships pretty cool it's some good structure hold some fish but yeah the water's real calm right now got a little buddy over here trying to set the hook on nothing that's all right i broke off so i'm just waiting for ryan to finish up for the night and i'm just letting the wind take me wherever slowly moving away from ryan where's he at he's over there somewhere There he is, Ryan! Oh, he's a toad! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Twelve inches or so. And that spot wasn't really holding any fish, so I'm gonna try down here where Ryan almost died. It was so much calmer. But you can see right there how the water changes. Over there, you got a lot more waves, and over here, the ships make it a lot easier to, uh, pretty much blocks off the ocean waves for you. The difference in what the wind makes. See how much rougher it is over here? How calm it is right here? Invisalign in your ass. Ugh. Oh great, he's shitting on me. That's wonderful. That's just wonderful little doo-doo. Taking my ass a break. Uh, it's weird the wind's blowing the different different direction today, so the ocean side of the boats is more calm than the other side. Oh, gosh. Alright, well this is how I'm prepping the bait. Pretty much quartering crabs. Uh Cut the legs off, leave the knuckles, these pieces right here, and that's where you're going to put your hook through. Cut those off, drop those down, chum up the water a little bit, and mind you these are frozen crabs from a while ago so, I mean fresh bait would be better but you gotta use what you can get, and then uh, take the shell off. there one cut down the hair right down the center uh, you could get three baits out of this but I'm just gonna keep it at two I'm gonna do one cut right there duck those off to the side for now get the other half cut him the same way in between the knuckles and then using black hooks size number three you can go through the knuckle out the body or you can go in a knuckle out a knuckle i like to have my hook exposed as much as possible so uh, for this one i'm probably going to go in the knuckle back out that knuckle so see how you have that much of the hook exposed you don't want to put the bait up here because if you bait it up around there they're not going to be able to get on that hook but yeah drop it down catch a fish oh god that's a good one that's a good one. Oh my god. Oh, stay away from that. Get up. Oh, he's a fatty. Just about two seconds ago, right out there, something came skying out of the water. I only caught the tail end of it going back down, but it A scared the shit out of me, and B makes me wonder what the hell is jumping out of the water. It was huge. Like it sounded like a damn card fell into the water, but I'll stay close up on this ship and release my little friend here. We'll concentrate on that first. Don't worry. I'll release you. You're not big enough at all. 
He's on there. <sighs> oh yeah. Get up. Get up. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> I scared him. Oh my god, my reel's fucking up. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. Right in the mouth. God, this reel is screwed. Oh, I got off. Oh, this reel, it will not work. I don't believe I'm catching these things with a broken reel. This reel keeps jamming up. The pressure's applied to it. I used, should have washed it more, took it apart last night. Still catching fish. Shit. Get up. Oh, that's a that's a little bit better. <laughs> He's eating Ryan. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Oh shit. Oh. Word? Break dancing? All right. Oh. Word? All right. This is a good one. This is a good one. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Oh. He's a monster. Yeah. Yep, 16 inches. Oh, that's another monster. Oh, he's in the boat. He is in the boat. Woo! Oh, he's closer to 17. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Oh, he almost, he almost, he almost got away. Two nice fish right there. Yes, sir. All right, guys, well, that was our first time talk talk fishing in the kayaks over there. We all enjoyed it. Hope it was actually, I spent some time make, trying to make this video a little bit more informative on like how we're fishing it, what we're using and whatnot. Yeah, most of the clips, well, actually all those clips were, you know, me fishing. Ryan did, Ryan was catching some fish. Ryan was catching some fish off. We got some clips here, check these clips out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> There it is. He, he tried to elude me a bunch of times. I finally got him. He stole about, oh, I don't know how many damn baits he stole from me. Caught his ass lacking that time. That's the end of the video. We got, we got a bunch of fish, I think, all together. 20 maybe, put together. 20 fish? I got 20 by myself. Did you? Yeah. I got about 10 by myself. We got uh, all together eight keepers, different days. But yeah, I mean, this, here's some of the fish that we caught today. Good ones. And man, I tell you what, we made some. There. That's all right. Don't worry about it. There's, yeah, there's two big ones back there. They're really good. Check out my Instagram. Follow me on Fishbrain. Zach underscore Bostic. You guys can find me at, on Facebook. Ryan Harrison. I don't usually, usually use Instagram. Thanks for watching. I don't know what we're going to be doing next. I, don't, I didn't even think this video was going to happen. We'll put together something. It's been tough. It's been tough. Yeah, thanks for watching. 
Like, comment, and subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. Thumbs up.